Okay, so the term vertically opposite is in reference to when two straight lines cross and the angles opposite each other are always equal. So this angle will be equal to this angle and this angle will be equal to this angle. That will always be true for vertically opposite angles. As long as you do the lines straight, they'll be the same. So we can use this to solve problems. So if I knew that this angle here was 115 degrees, and this was called B, and this angle here was called A, and this angle here was 65 degrees, I can work out what the other angles would be. Okay, so I could say that A is gonna be 65 degrees, and B is going to be 115 degrees. And a way to check if I'm correct, because this together makes a uh, revolution, together they should all equal 360 degrees if I was to add all those numbers together. Okay, and that's how I can check I've done it correctly. Now, in some scenarios, you might not be given all of the angles. So again, we can color code our angles to know which ones would match. So you can kind of see like this is obtuse, so it's gonna match the other obtuse angle, isn't it? And then if this angle here is acute, then it's going to go with the other acute angle, okay? Now you might only be given one measurement. So I might be told that this is 30 degrees and I have to explain what A, B and C would be. Now for me to do that, B is gonna be really easy because B and um, is vertically opposite this number. So B would be 30 degrees. But to work out these two remaining ones, I need to use my knowledge of a full uh, revolution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 360 minus 30 minus another 30, because I'm gonna take away this and I'm gonna take away this and that'll leave me those two numbers. So that'll leave me with 300 degrees. Now combined A and C together are gonna make 300 degrees. Okay, and they've got to be the same size. So really, I just have to go 300 divided by two, and that will give me 150 degrees. So I can say that A equals 150 degrees, and C also equals 150 degrees. And a way to check would be to go this plus this plus this plus the original 30, if that adds up to 360, I know I've done it correctly, which it does.